good morning. It is early Saturday morning and it's a little cool. I, I think when I came out, it was like 39 degrees here this morning. Uh, I don't know if we had any frost. Probably not because we had a little breeze, so we probably got saved from the frost. But uh, we're gonna bring you part two of uh, the removal of the power line. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna try to when I'm editing this, this is just the opening. I'm gonna try to do an overview, talking on it a little bit, not much. I'm just gonna bring you the action. But uh, I'm gonna show you a piece of machinery that they dug the holes. I'm not really sure how deep it is. It may be 20 feet deep. Uh, it's kind of what speculation of what tire they are a pole they're gonna put up as far as how deep it is but I asked that guy I said I hate to know how much this uh, piece of equipment costs and he said that the particular one they're using on this job is a smaller one and if he had to guess he would say 1.8 million dollars somewhere in that ballpark that's just mind-boggling to me how much money they spend in putting these towers up but I hope you enjoy it. I had a lot of comments about it. So um, it's going to be a part three. This video has already got kind of long. So uh, the next step would be putting up the poles and then uh, how they do that and then putting the lines up. And that will be the end of the video. So if you would watch it from the beginning to the end, it's a lot of work in this. I spent a lot of time trying to catch different aspects of this video so uh, it's very intriguing to me so I hope you enjoy it Rose you ready to bring it to them Rose loving this weather so y'all stay tuned folks we're gonna bring you another one It's gonna be bad, but they brought in some poles today. I guess that's gonna be five poles there. They're gonna be stuck up in the air. I was thinking they were concrete, but I think the concrete's going in the ground, and then this is gonna bolt to the concrete. I think, but I hope to bring it to you. Sorry about the wind again. Now it takes something. They don't have little equipment, folks. A 966. GC Cat. End result, folks. That will go into somewhere for recycle. All right, folks, this is the truck they're going to use to drill the holes to 
put the concrete base in for the tower. I'll walk up here. Thank God they put down mats. Because those steel tracks will tear up a road. So they'll back it off and then they'll turn it in. I was talking to a gentleman. He said that they're going to drill today. And maybe tomorrow they're going to drill this post and the next post down. This is right beside my house. He said they shouldn't have any problem unless they hit rock, which I don't think they're gonna hit rock. Look at that bit right there now. This is gonna be something to see. I really don't know what that fuck that is. I'm gonna have to ask him what that is for. And I guess that is a bit unless that's in case they hit rock. Not really sure. We're going to find out. This ought to be interesting. Now they're going to get those. Timbers up out of the road. They got traffic blocked that way. They got traffic blocked that way. Get a close up of this bad boy. That's a big one.
so it begins. Not really sure how deep it's gonna go, 20 feet. Maybe more, I don't know. He's probably got an X, Y coordinate on that. Marking his spot. Shouldn't take long provided he don't hit any rocks. Well, I had to go make a delivery. When I got back, they had finished drilling the hole. They get to see how deep it was. But these some of the drill bits that they use. Not your everyday size. And they also, that one sheet right there, that's where the hole is. Now they're gonna get this dirt up and move it, haul it off. And they're down here drilling another as we speak. So I'm gonna go down there and check them out. <laughs> 